you, DJ Mikey Mike in Direct Sound, and we are doing it from scratch today. That's right, we're doing it from scratch with the VisiBeam 5R from American DJ. I picked myself up four VisiBeam 5Rs, and we need to mount these things. And how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to try to make it easy, and we're going to do it from scratch today. So here we go. We're going to do it from scratch today with a tripod mount. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on the tools you need to mount it on a tripod, or I'll show you what I already created for my trussing. Some of you guys might be getting into trussing, so this is a great opportunity to kind of incorporate that. Tripods, everybody's got them. This is an easy way to do it. Here we go. All right, the American DJ Vizzy Beam 5R. The cool little moving head fixture. 575 watts of output, pretty cool. There is the truss mount, which I've already had built in the past. Those work on my 5R spots and my elation beams. Now the Vizzy Beam 5R also has the same style mounting bracket. And here's the tools that you're gonna need to create your mount. All right, we're gonna make a mount that looks just like this out of these tools right here. All right, first thing you're gonna need is gonna need a sturdy speaker mount. Now some of these are made a little bit different. This one here is an on-stage stands mount. I got it from Guitar Center. It's very sturdy. They, you can find them on eBay for three to five bucks. Uh, Pay the extra couple dollars, get one from Guitar Center or someplace reputable that makes the thicker mounted ones. Some of them are thin plastic. When you're talking moving heads, you're talking a little bit of weight, you need something sturdy. Okay? Be safe out there. Get something nice. Okay? This is a composite, com plastic style one. And uh, it's by OnStage. And here we go. So this is what we have here. We need one of these. You need the standard mounting brackets that come with your moving heads. Now you can apply this to just about any moving head out there. Uh, some have one of these, some have two. This is for a double mounting bracket. Okay. I went to my local metal shop and purchased some tubing. Uh, square tubing, this is about three quarter inch square tubing. Uh, thin wall, It'll, this'll work fine. Uh, drilled a hole in the middle. Now it doesn't need to be this big. Okay, this was for my uh, vertical truss mounts and I just sold them off of there because I sold my AccuSpots and I saved this hardware. So I uh, already had the holes pre-drilled for me from my old mounting. So if you notice in here, same kind of setup, there's about double the length. So all you need is about an inch and a half of material. I'm going to use this because it already has the pre-drilled holes and it'll work fine for my application. You'll need some standard nuts and bolts. These are 2 inch 3 8 threaded nuts with some 3 8 fender washers, a lock washer, and a nut to go on the bottom. These are real simple to make. The reason why we use this spacer is with these cam lock devices you don't have the clearance unless you space it off if I had it directly on the plate it wouldn't turn it would hit the plate so we need to space these off to give us the clearance three quarters of an inch approximately three quarters of an inch does the trick just enough clearance to make the loop. When you push it up into the fixture you gain a lot more clearance so it'll work out fine. So to build these things you take your spacer, a fender washer, and I put a fender washer on the bottom, a lock washer, and the nut And now it's spaced off just fine. I have plenty of clearance. Do the same to the other side. Now you can choose to paint these black if you like. Kind of blends it all in. And there we have it. One tripod mount for the Vizzy Beam. Now the last step is to match up these holes with the Vizzy Beam and tighten it all up. So let's do that now. All right, the most important step is to line up the plate 
with your uh, tripod mount. Okay, so don't tighten anything up before, you know, you can make it snug, but don't tighten it up until you make this adjustment. Okay, and then you can wrench it down and make it nice and tight so it stays there. That's what's key about the lock washers. It keeps it in place, okay? It keeps those nuts nice and firm. Okay, so you don't ever have to worry about uh, grabbing tools in the middle of your event and trying to adjust your lighting fixtures. You might have to from time to time. Some things get out of whack, but uh, I haven't had to do so. So anyway, so now they they float, they move around a little bit. So get them like, kind of lined up in the center. The bottom plate on the busy beam has four accepting holes for the cam locks. They're quick lock cam locks, really slick. And you can do these by hand, just lock them into place. All right, now that you got them locked into place, line up all your hardware. Slide it in as much as you can so it doesn't protrude. Make it nice and square. Then grab the wrenches and tighten away. There we have it. We have our speaker mount mounted on the bottom of our Visi beam. We're going to take it apart, mount it up on the tripod, and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, pop the uh, speaker mount on top of your uh, tripod. Ready to go for the Visi beam mount. Set your beam fixture right on top, and it'll fall into place very easy, okay? Adjust your cam locks. Voila, we have a mounted Visi beam in uh, probably less than five minutes or so to make these mounts. As long as you don't have to cut your hardware down, you're good to go. So uh, add a scrim to the bottom of this, dress up your tripods. It's very important, okay? You don't need the tripod jungle out there. It's uh, uh, Scrim King makes some great product out there. Check out the scrims. They'll uh, make your tripods look amazing. Just saw them at Mobile Beat this last weekend, and they had some wraparound scrim something new and exciting for you go talk to gabe over there at scrim king he'll get you all dialed in so all anyway right. tripod mount for your visi beam 5r um quick and easy done and dirty nice you can also use a truss mount plate style just like this with a small aluminum plate on the top of your truss no matter if you're using uh global truss or you're using uh any other style trussing out there it all has the same concept drill holes in your plate mount your uh brackets to the top of the plate you might need a step off so that's the key part of this part all right you can also use washers if you need to step it off with washers uh, I like the small metal brackets a little bit better uh, seems to work a little bit more solid has a little better footprint that's right it's DJ Mikey Mike doing it from scratch with a Visi Beam 5R tripod mount hope you like it make sure you subscribe if you haven't leave some comments down below tell me what you think uh, for those of you that are doing this I want to see some pictures send a video response that'd be great all right Peace.